Hi, I'm Sandra. Join me on ST Smart Parenting, a series where we bring together experts to answer your burning questions on education and parenting. They will also give you expert advice on how to help your child thrive in school and life. For more of such content, go check out our new website. I've noticed many parents using e-books with their kids instead of uh, print books. And I can understand uh, the advantages and the conveniences that come with it. But what they don't realise is that uh, there's a lot of research out there which clearly shows that children are much better off reading printed books. One of the most compelling research has been done uh, by a paediatrician, Dr. John S. Hutton from the Cincinnati Children's Hospital. What he did was that he put uh, kids in MRI machines reading different kind of books, from e-books, printed books, he even did audio books. And what he found was that, according to the brain scans that he did on the children while they were reading, uh, was that printed books were far, far superior. They just lit up the brain a lot more, uh, their brains were more activated, which means that they were learning, uh, they were picking up skills, you know, from reading printed books far more than they were doing with e-books. He then went on to explain why the difference. So with printed books, a child has to imagine, they have to speculate, they have to make inferences. So if the story is about an old tree, they have to imagine this old tree. If, they have, if the story is about a big hungry bear, again, they have to imagine what this bear looks like and how it speaks. Uh, the voices of all the different characters. With e-books, on the other hand, all these answers are provided to the children. Sometimes there are buttons for them to press on the different sounds that different animals make, perhaps. There are colours, uh, there are cartoons, there's animation. So they're not required to use their imagination. They're not required to speculate and infer from everything else that they've read before. With e-books, too much is going on and it actually overwhelms a lot of the kids and it may actually distract a child more than help a child read. It also breaks the bond between a child and her parent. Imagine when you're reading a printed book, you sit together, the mother or father may be hugging the child and leafing through the books. It's about the joy of reading as well, but it's also about bonding with the child. With e-books, on the other hand, they've found that parents are very often telling the child not to uh, press a button or not to move the iPad around too much not to be distracted by the animation or the cartoons that are on the e-book. Um, so it's just too many things going on at the same time and uh, it's actually not good for the child. So in terms of literacy and cognitive skills, printed books are far, far superior. Well, I would suggest that parents throw away all the e-books that they have on their iPad. Uh, uh, there are times where you can use them, especially with older children, you know, uh, once they've really developed uh, a good uh, reading habit and uh, good literacy skills. Um, and, you know, for example, on a plane, it makes sense uh, to keep them occupied with e-books. It's difficult to carry around a lot of printed books, especially uh, children's books, which are heavy and and some of them are quite big as well. There are a lot of uh, pediatricians who actually advise that children under two, for example, do not have any kind of screen time. For those under five years old, also limited to just a couple of hours a week. It's just information overload. <laughs>